Sucrose esters are emulsifiers that have the unique property of water solubility. While most emulsifiers are fat soluble, sucrose esters dissolve better in water. The best way to work is to add sucrose esters to cold water. When added slowly, while stirring, they will easily disperse. Even better dispersion is achieved when sucrose esters are premixed with other ingredients like sugar, starch or milk powder. Pure sucrose esters will partly dissolve in cold water, but heating the dispersion to 60 to 70 degrees Celsius will fully dissolve them and you will benefit from their strong functionality. A solution of 1% cisterna SP70 in water is a low, viscous, glopsy liquid that is almost transparent. When you add pure sucrose esters to hot water, there is a risk of lumping. When lumps are formed, it is difficult to get rid of them. Intensive shear and extra time will eventually dissolve the lumps, but it is better to avoid this method of dissolving. When your only option is to add sucrose esters to hot water, Try to premix them with other ingredients like sugar, starch or milk powder. It is possible to disperse sucrose esters in fat or oil, but they will not dissolve. Stirring is required to prevent them from sedimenting on the bottom. When the oily dispersion is added to the water phase, sucrose esters will still dissolve in the water, provided that the water phase with the sucrose esters is heated. Sucrose esters will bring some viscosity to the water phase. The usual doses of sucrose esters is much lower than these 1, 5 and 10% concentrations. So in most foodstuffs, the viscosity due to the sucrose esters will not be significant. When you prepare a stock solution of sucrose esters, the viscosity must be taken into account. For more information, contact Cisterna.